Tonight, new information about Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Chief Kerr Putney's retirement. The plan was that he would retire January 1st and then come back two months later and work through the RNC in August. But tonight, we're learning that might not be legal. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes is breaking it all down for us tonight. January 1 of 2020, I am going to officially retire. Now, Chief Kerr Putney's plans for retirement could be put on hold. Once he told everyone he planned to retire and get rehired, he may have inadvertently broken state law. This violates the, the integrity of the system. This is the law that defines retirement. It says complete separation from active service with no intent or agreement expressed or implied to return to service. In normal fashion, just like everybody else, though, I'm not quite done. The chief certainly says straight up he's returning. State Treasurer Dale Falwell says you can't do that. But when there is a press release and, and, and a YouTube video that talks about a person's intent and we start getting calls about what's going on, it's obviously something we have to look into. Falwell says it sounds like a blatant double dip. Double dipping is, is not something that is, is, is allowed in the system. There are a few exceptions, though. Falwell says you can't go into retirement with the plan to come back. But if duty calls, you have to sit out 30 days, you can only work 1,000 hours, and receive no more than 50% of your pay. Retiring and getting hired back, a pretty common practice, according to Chris Kopp with the Fraternal Order of Police. There's a lot of officers that fall into this hire back uh, program, and we want to make sure that, that their jobs are protected, that their salaries are protected, that their retirement is protected. He says members of law enforcement now worried a bad SOP could impact their purse strings. The last thing we want to see is that, you know, officers have some type of financial repercussions because CMPD did not do their due diligence and create a program uh, that met state standards. Follow well, now trying to find out how many others have done this before. Doesn't want people to lose their pension, but says the law's the law. We can't pick and choose which laws to apply and who to apply them to. According to the state treasurer, this handbook on retirement has been around for a long time and the law itself has been on the books for 40 years. A city of Charlotte spokesperson put out a statement saying it's not their intention to circumvent the law and they're now working with the Retirement Association to find out what's next. I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte.